Now, was she witnessing? Was she preaching? Yes. And that's really what it is. We're now a part of a community that loves us, puts up with us, challenges us, with us in moments of need and funerals and weddings and hospitalization. Does the world need that? Yes. We've got to stop dividing ourselves in the little camps. The Christian faith is a world camp, a world religion. It is universal. It's to bring us all together before we kill ourselves. To somehow see that we're in it together. To baptize and teach and to preach. To heal the sick. To go out. The first, after Jesus had ascended back into heaven. Instead of right hand of God and Father Almighty. The church began together. Together. And they prayed. And they worshiped. And first thing they did mission wise. They said the Lord wants us to take care of widows and orphans. The first missions committee of the church is to go out and seek those who need help. To help take care of the poor. There have been some criticisms levied at the death. Maybe some valid. To say we have turned our back on the poor. We're mainly concerned about our own survival. That we've turned our back on the needy and the poor. That some of us, certainly we've abandoned the inner city, we're moving away, we're not doing as much mission. By the way, I brag about this church wherever I go. First of the six churches I've ever served that's mission-minded, the amount of money and people that are involved in missions. I'm, I'm very proud as a pastor, I'm willing to simply proud to say what we're doing here. But we're doing really only what God asked us to do, what Christ set out for us, the great commission of the church. Jesus was given authority to come and to share the good news and to bring disciples and that they might learn what he's talking about. And he said, soon I'll give you the Holy Spirit who God will send. Remember what the gift of the Holy Spirit is. To encourage, to renew, to guide, to comfort, and to remind you of everything I have said. And so you see, we're not alone. I will be with you to the end of the age. God will be with us. Christ will be at our side, encouraging us to go out and do the things which are uniquely us to the world. We are the saving salve of the world. We give it flavor. We hold it together. We are the ones, the church, who has helped stop wars. We don't like it. We are advocates of those who can't speak for themselves, women and children. We're the ones who constantly are an irritant to the culture because we don't want life to be barbaric. We don't want life to be hurtful or painful. That you are a part of who we are. God is constantly working at us. Now, I hope we're ready. For you see, sometimes we get lax and God will send us people. And we might ignore them. I was at a church once where a woman who had two uh, daughters, biracial, not too many people had much to do with her. Until they found out that she was a superintendent of schools in that state up north, because our church was just over the line. Uh, and, and I don't go up there, but I know it was right over the line. She was in the school district. These two, she, had, she adopted these two girls who had no home. <coughs> brought them up. Beautiful, talented girls. It was her mission, her ministry. So you see, you never know who God's going to send you to us, to be a part of us, to challenge us. God works mysteriously, I understand that. Let me tell you a story about a woman named Mary. Not the Mary of the Bible, but a Mary of Cincinnati. She said to us, in her witness to us, that one day she just was disturbed. It just happened to be Sunday morning. She just, everything wasn't going right, and, and she needed something. She decided to go out and just drive in her car. It was a beautiful day, after all. And she said she doesn't know what made her do it, but when she got to the front of our church, her car turned in. She said, almost like magic. 
she came in and heard the music, and so she said, I'll go on in. Now, she's not a believer. She's a little cranky. And she came in. And after a number of years, Mary was active in the church, was there part of the community of faith. A number of years later, when she developed some cancer and died, uh, we worked on her funeral. She wanted people to come over. She didn't want me just to come over. She wanted to come over and have dessert and coffee and everybody. We were all taking notes so everybody, because the pastor wouldn't forget. And when she died, what a great celebration of the church. It was a celebration of her life. The celebration of the day that God sent her to us. A day that we remember her and how she, much she added so much to the church. <clears throat> her crankiness turned in just to be a person who had strong opinions. That's how we interpreted it after that. You never know what God's going to do. You never know the moment of the day. But we need to be reminded again. Jesus gave authority. And now God gave Jesus the authority. And now I believe that Jesus now has given us authority. Take now the authority to go into all the world. To preach and teach and baptize in my name. I'll be with you forever. I'll be by your side. That is our task. That is our task. Lest we forget who we are and what we're about. It's not about us. It's not even about a building. It's about the people of God doing that which Christ has asked them to do. And so I'll say one more time. You, we, take the authority that Christ has given us to go, baptizing and loving and preaching, making the world a better place, seeking out those in need. In the name of Christ, I pray. Lord, sometimes we act like we have hearing problems. But you're speaking to us loud and clear through the actions and of the day. Sometimes through the difficulties we even read in the paper. It may be a call to arms on our part. We are responsible for this globe. For God has sent you, O Christ, and now sent us to hold things together, to help people see each other for who they are. Because down deep inside, we are the same. Regardless of where we live on this globe, regardless of our color, no, no matter about our background, down deep, we still are your children that Christ sent to them and to us. And we are united under Christ. Let us all hear the great commission to go forth and to heal the sick, to help the wounded, to look around, to make the world a better place. And they'll come to know this God, and this God, our God, will be operative in their life. And they will bring them then, Lord, to the community of faith. So help us go to the world. Help us to be ready to receive any of those who would come. Help us to work out that special, unique thing that's each of us. Be with us, we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.